Back in 2005, Mary Hamer and her husband, Tim, took a trip to Washington to see their son. It led her to a lavender festival, and she was hooked from there. Today, she grows it in Iowa's Less Hills. Well, the Less Hills soil is uh, percolates water away like sand. Okay. They do not want to sit in water. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's high in limestone anyway, and they like a, a higher alkaline soil. Okay. So that does very well. And then on the gentle slopes, uh, it can get the water away. So they get a drink. Uh, they love to have a drink of water, but they just don't want to sit in it. Yeah. So it has worked very well for the lavender. Nice. Uh, we're trying something new here. Uh, putting some limestone on top of some weed mat okay uh, because in the springs we have a little trouble with the uh, highs and lows of the temperatures mm -hmm. so maybe to uh, kind of neutralize that a little bit and these plants look how old is this plant I mean it doesn't look to me it's, like it's very old it's not these were just planted early this spring okay but they were held over from plants from last year so he's basically a one-year-old plant but they stay in the ground normally all winter long. Yes. You just replanted yes. this one this spring. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about what you've learned and some of the challenges in growing lavender here in Iowa. Well, the temperature, yeah. without a doubt. If we get our snow, like we used to do when I was growing up, mm -hmm. um, that would insulate it and then they're just gorgeous. But the last uh, five years, we really haven't had good snowfall. And then they started fluctuating in the temperatures so much, going uh, from 60 to, to 10 and 70 to 20. So uh, they have struggled. Yeah. So hopefully trying this uh, as something new that uh, we can help them get through the springs now more than the winters. Try, try again, have yeah. patience, try again. Yeah, try. That's the name of the game, <laughs> Yeah, huh? Keep trying to invent the wheel here because uh, we're basically the first lavender farm in Iowa, so. <laughs> well, when you're the first, sometimes you gotta blaze the way and, yeah. and figure it out, right? Yep. And, uh, yeah, wonderful. Well, uh, it is interesting. I, I am excited to come back at some point. What time of year would they normally bloom in Iowa? They normally bloom July, August, and September. Okay. Uh, we Many farms will harvest and that's it. Uh, we kind of do selective cutting out. Uh, deadhead so that it'll continue to bloom because we do a lot of tourism mm -hmm. and so we want people when they come to be able to see some nice big beautiful blooming plants right right it's always I always love those pictures of people fields, you know, yeah, amongst the, the fields of lavender fields, yeah. yeah I love those too yeah <laughs> well I have no doubt that you'll you'll get these plants back up because yep. when you first started you planted what did you say a thousand plants we planted a thousand and they did fabulous for uh -huh. five years um, and then we started having the trouble with the temperatures and no snow and um, so it's, uh, it's been a little struggle, but I think we might have it figured out. At another field, Mary tells me about the different varieties she grows. Well, we have found that uh, anything like this is a Lavendula angustifolia okay. is a species, but the type that one is is a Miss Catherine. And she starts out with a white bloom, as you can see there, uh, as well as um, she has the best smell. She has, uh, she's a great culinary okay. uh, lavender. And so she's one of my top picks right now. We're gonna try to propagate from her and get lots of babies. We've got a few in hers. They all came up and had no trouble. Oh, she's good other then. Stuff. Yep, let's, she's let's a good one. So this is a Grosso mm -hmm. and I, I love the Grosso for their long stems, and this is what the brides want. Oh. And so I need to have lots of Grosso, but it's not very strong uh, for our winters. Uh, I had to keep replanting, so we, we will be putting in a high tunnel, and we'll have like 100 Grosso in it. And so early spring, when the brides want some flowers, we'll have some. You can put those out there. Mm -hmm. One thing she does have figured out, a host of lavender products. Visit her on-farm store, full of homemade sprays, oils, soaps, and more.